So this is the new MacBook uh, Pro 13 inch model? Yeah. yeah. With uh, seven generation Intel processors. Seven it's got generation Photoshop Intel. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually going to um, add some, I'm going to use the paintbrush tool here to add some highlights to this grass here. Mm -hmm. so what I can do with the touch bar actually is I can actually control the size of that brush now with the touch bar. Uh -huh. So it allows me to have two handed functionality here where I can add highlights to a larger area mm -hmm. and then reduce the size of that tool to work on a more refined area. Mm -hmm. Continue to work around the edge of the pond here. So it's really, really fast and easy and efficient way to work. It's really to quickly adjust the size of that toolbar. And I'm not a professional photo editor here, so if at any time I want to make some changes, if there were some steps in there that I didn't like, I could just tap right on the touch bar here. And now you can see, I can see different snapshots that I've edited here. I can see, it's like kind of seeing the undo steps, but each one of them is a snapshot that I can jump to just by tapping right on the touch bar. So, That's cool. pretty cool implementation of Touch Bar. Uh -huh. um, we've also got some support for Touch Bar and GarageBand that we've added. There's some new features. So now uh -huh. I've got a synthesizer selected here. I can actually play the synthesizer mm -hmm. using the Touch Bar as a keyboard. Uh -huh. That's a really fun way. So I've got access to the, the black and white keys on the keyboard. Uh -huh. One feature that I really love is you can tap on the scale mode, all the wrong notes disappear, and I'm only left with the right notes. <laughs> so when I play along to my song, Mm -hmm. It's impossible to play a wrong note, uh -huh. which is great, especially for people who are not great keyboard players. Uh -huh. uh, and it's dynamic too, so if I select a different track, you'll see that the touch bar changes now. I have different drum instruments that I can play. Uh -huh. so, and when I play back, you can see which different drum instruments are actually being triggered here. Uh -huh. So some fun touch bar support. Oh, very good. Any other uh, new new things here? Yeah, well, we've got lots of new things in the OS. Uh -huh. So, uh, we talked about some enhancements to the Photos application here. Mm -hmm. So we've got some new tools now in Photos. We've done some really uh, interesting UI optimizations. We've made the, the, uh, the sidebar permanent here so you can easily access your photos. Uh -huh. um, we've made it easy to favorite or rotate your photos um, right from the top level here. No need to go into edit mode. Mm -hmm. um, but I think some of the great things that we've got here are some powerful new tools in touch bar. So I've got a photo selected here. Mm -hmm. And it's okay, but I'm going to use some of the new editing tools. We've got photos, like curves, to make an adjustment to this photo. So now I have access to the curves. This is brand new in photos. I can bring up the brightness and the contrast and get control over the, the curves of this photo. I can also use the new selective color tool here to do things like change the color of the sky. So I can, I can select blue. I can increase the saturation of that sky and make it really, really pop. Uh, so some incredibly new powerful tools here. Uh, Looks like my rental car is ready. <laughs> yeah. And then at any time, I can always just toggle back and forth using the touch bar. There's a control here that will allow me to jump back and forth between the unedited original and the edits that I've made here at any time. So another really cool feature that we talked about in Keynote was some new live photo editing modes here. So for example, I've got a live photo here of the waterfall. Uh -huh. But I can go in and I can actually change the mode of that. One of my favorite new features is now the ability to turn this into a long exposure photo. So if I select long exposure, there's a bunch of really complicated analysis that goes on here. You get the effect of uh, you know, a long exposure of the camera. It's something that you normally have to set up a tripod for and change the exposure for. Uh, but now we're going to do it automatically. All the tools are right in the background. Uh, pretty cool feature. Uh -huh. uh, there's also some new Safari features as well. Mm -hmm. So now we have the ability to, if you ever open a web page and you have automatic video playing in the background, it can be very annoying. But now we have the ability to set on a per web page basis the ability to um, stop the automatic playback of any media with, with audio attached to it. And that's something you can change just by uh, 
little click in, in, the, uh, in the address bar here, you can change the settings for this website. So um, I can change it and I can allow it to autoplay, I can never autoplay, or I can stop anything. Uh, which I think is an incredibly useful feature. Yeah. Um, there goes a big innovation in advertising. There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's some, uh, there's some incredible uh, privacy features like the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the tracker blocking features that are very useful. Uh -huh. And I just decided to make this one automatic.